Bringing peace to island families through active engagement. That's the goal of the 29th Annual Men's March Against Violence. Chris Latronic joins us now live from the King Kamehameha statue on King Street with this important discussion. Aloha and good morning, Chris. Aloha and good morning to you, Sam and Christine. I'm actually across the street now from the King Kamehameha statue here at Iolani Palace, a beautiful historic site, which is also going to be the site of the beginning of this year's 2020 uh, 29th annual men's march against violence uh, so we want to bring peace amongst all the issues that's going on right now we want to come together address the issues as well as find a great path forward like uh, how Kahuku and St. Louis come together after a violent football game Kahuku and St. Louis come together this morning with Elijah McShane Hawaiian cultural practitioner ambassador of Aloha as well as the leader of the Pono Settlers course good morning Elijah thank you so much for being with us hey brother it's good to be with you brother Aloha Aloha, yes, Aloha. Aloha. so tell me um, men's march against violence happening tomorrow Tomorrow, yes. great event. Tell us about it. So it's been in a huge issue in Hawaii uh, with, with just pain and trauma, uh, the bullying, uh, the shootings that's been happening in our communities. We find it vital that all of our men hear the message and heed the message of peace, love, and protection of our communities and families. And to have the kuleana, the responsibility needed in order to step into that effectively. And our aim is just to, to have a call out there, to bring our people here, to pray together, to, to have speakers um, and to do a march around the entire block um, here at Ilani Palace and the state capitol and to ensure that people um, are in an awareness of these big issues happening in Hawaii right now. Yeah, so we come tomorrow. It's happening at 1130 right here. They'll be marching around the capitol. But also, you're doing a lot of things right now. If you don't know him, he's Son of Oahu over on Instagram, very popular and lots of great messages. But also, you have this uh, thing called the Pono Settlers Course. And I know with a lot of animosity towards uh, tourism being reopened in Maui uh, because of the Lahaina issue, uh, tell me a little bit about the Pono Settlers Course. Yeah, so, so as we all know, right, um, about three quarters of our population in Hawaii is not considered to be a Kanaka Maori, people who, who are Aboriginal Hawaiian. Um, and in that, a, a big percentage of these people um, have only been in Hawaii for maybe 8 to 10 years, maybe 30 years. But hardly ever have these people had a... Um, a cultural class on Hawaiian history, on Hawaiian culture values, on Hawaiian ways of being. We see this as a massive issue because of the contention between all of our communities. And so as a Kanaka, I found it as a great opportunity and a, a, a huge need that needs to be fulfilled in providing an educational space that allows our people that are not from Hawaii to learn how to live in Hawaii appropriately, ethically, responsibly, and honorably, because if we don't do that, then this animosity is gonna continue happening because Hawaiian cultural values in Hawaii need to be emphasized or else Hawaii is on its way to just becoming an extension of the United States of America in our values. And we know the issues happening in America. We wanna make sure to keep Hawaii Hawaii and how to do that is to instill these cultural values and ways of being into the population that is not exposed to it at an early age. Wow, that is amazing. Tell us, how can we be a part of that and give us a quick layout of what the course involves. I just encourage everybody to head to my Instagram. The link is in the bio. Head to our website um, as well on top. If you go to Google, if you just put in Elijah McShane or Awakened Aloha, there's all the information on our website on the main page as well. And what it talks about is it goes over the principles and practices of Aloha Aina, Aloha Akua, Aloha Kanaka, Aloha Hawaii. Love the land, love spirit, love one another, and prosper together as one people in Hawaii. That is beautiful. And we have to say mahalo nui to you for all that you, you do, you so as well much. as uh, being part of a uh, great prolific speaker who will be at the Men's March for, Against Violence happening tomorrow right here here at 11.30, so try to be here. If you can, everybody is invited. This is Chris Atronic working for Hawaii right here at Iolani Palace, sending things back to you. All right, mahalo, Chris. Such an important topic. You know, Christine, coming as a transplant, they talked about the, the Pono Settler course. Uh, at the University of Hawaii, they have the Hawaiian Studies course that you mm -hmm. have to take as a freshman. It's a required course. One of the most eye-opening experiences I've ever had, and it's just so important for those of us that aren't from Hawaii, don't grow up in this culture, right. uh, to get a taste of that. Yeah, you really have to know and learn it. Even for mm -hmm. residents, they might not know a lot of what it offers, so it's really good to take that course or learn from anyone around you, right? Yeah, exactly. So you can follow Elijah on Instagram. I follow him. A lot of great discussion there.